Good evening guys, how are we? I'm Mark from Treasure Hunt in Scotland and today we're going to do a little video on it's what we call the black screen with the XPDS now some of you might have upgraded to a V4 coil I haven't, uh, basically one of my coils is in getting fixed and uh, what happened was I was sent a V4 coil in replacement uh, a loan of because it may be away for a couple of weeks because uh, it's quite a, a tricky fix I've been told uh, we don't know whether they'll replace the coil or not but anyway, what happened was when I did the update, I got this screen, so I'm going to show you guys how to get rid of this screen, and it's quite an easy and quick fix, uh, if you've never done it before. So, what you want to be doing is going into Options, you want to be going into Contrast, and then what you want to do is click Minus. Now, you can see it's I should start clicking Minus here on the Contrast. You should see that black screen is now disappearing and that's the easy way to get rid of the black screen until you're happy with the contrast. Whether it be 1, 2 or 3, I'm going to leave it about 3 because 3 is fine for me. So again I'll show you how we do that. You just click the left hand button here, it's options, scroll down until you're in configuration. And we're going to select configuration, we're going to scroll down until we find contrast and we'll click on contrast and then we'll just use the minus or add button so like i said that will add it just now to show you what the screen will look like so if the screen looks like this then what you want to do is press the minus button just to reduce that contrast and that should help you yeah uh, get rid of that screen as apparently this is quite a common fault with updates some people get it some people don't but there you go just a little fix it's easy to fix so if any of you guys didn't know that or you do a, v a DSV4 update to the new coil and you see that, there's a simple way just to get rid of it. You don't need to save this because it actually saves into your configuration. So once you've done it, it will automatically save it once you uh, switch your box off. So there you go, a little tip for the DSV4 uh, coil if you get the black screen. Hope that's been some help to you guys. Good luck, happy hunting, and I'll catch you in another video soon because I'm going to be doing a lot of videos like this for the days.